So, you know, fly casting is very similar to shooting a bow in the fact that the bow is bent and when you release that string, it throws the arrow. This fly rod, fly casting is all based on accelerating that rod tip and stopping it. So you can see in that back cast, this rod is accelerating and it, when it gets that fly line, the weight of the fly line, it bends that rod. And you can see right in the middle of that stroke how much that rod is bent. And when I stop that rod, right now, it throws that fly line. So that rod has to stop going back and it has to stop going forward. And if you don't stop it, you see this, a big loop and there's no energy transferred down that fly line. And that's the key to fly casting. Stopping that rod, transferring energy from the rod to the fly line. You, you get a lot of 10 to two and trout fishermen, you know, we all heard of the 10, 10 and two, but you almost don't like that when you're fishing with bigger rods and heavier line and what have you because of why? Look, 10 and two works when you're, sh when you're casting a short distance in the fact that you don't have to create a lot of power to cast only 15 feet, so it's right here. When you're dry flying and in, in fishing and you're drying that fly, it's kind of like 10 and two and that's where that comes from. But once you need to start casting a little bit further, you need to throw from a little bit of a longer stroke. So 10 and two works when you're casting, you know, tight quarters here. If I want to cast further, that clock now might be a little bit more like maybe 10 and, 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 and three back here. You know, 10, possibly two where you stop. But when I stop at two, that stroke might drift back you know, all the way to three o'clock. And you use the kind of the analogy of throwing a dart or a football. If I was just throwing the football to you here, I'd be here. Right, it's right here. If, if, if I need a little further, but if I have to throw it all the way across the whole field, I'm gonna go way back. I need a longer stroke. But the thing is, if I take that longer stroke right now, I haven't really stopped that rod. So it's a lot about, you know, extending the stroke, making it longer, but it's so important that you stop the rod. I can stop it here, but drift back. And now you can see I'm throwing with a full stroke here. And then show me that backhand, um, because as a tarpon fisherman, you have to be able to be able to hit well, any spot. So well, you need leverage. Your backhand cast, you do it uh, one of two ways. In salt, in a trout fishing situation, it's 